Hello everyone, my name is Anita Lim. I'm a rheumatologist and I'm affiliated with the Centre for Biomedical Ethics at NUS, Singapore. My topic is caring for challenging patients and families. So, the first slide, we see the definitions of difficult or challenging. And my question to you is, what are the elements that make up such encounters? Often, it is patients with complex or rare disease, or even with medically unexplained symptoms. These are often associated with significant distress, poor functioning, loss of role, and high use of healthcare and welfare. Patients often report feeling that their concerns are not taken seriously by healthcare professionals. In the context where patients may have mental illness, for example, um, bipolar, or have depression or generalized anxiety disorder, these hinder adherence to the treatment plan. Patients may also have significant fear and pain which limits their ability to make decisions and to uh, comply to uh, what would help them in uh, having better outcomes. There may be different values, uh, failure of communication, and lack of trust. So in considering the ethical issues in providing quality health care, I ask, is there an obligation on healthcare professionals to provide care to patients whose challenges impact their health care? How can we um, maintain a positive patient professional relationship in such cases? And how do we as healthcare professionals balance conflicting considerations in the provision of care? At what point should the relationship be terminated? And how can it be done in an appropriate manner such that the healthcare professional is not accused of abandonment of care? So, transitions of care or handover of care. So, looking at the context of illness, um, we need to think about how to bridge the divides. Doctors may consider the events of sickness narrowly as biological phenomena which require medical or specific behavioural intervention, while patients tend to see illness within the frame and scope of their entire lives. The doctor's concept of a sickness can be incommensurable with the patient's concept of the same sickness. They may feel that they are dealing with entirely different things. And Rita Sharon, in the field of narrative medicine, teaches about this and how we can honour the stories of illness. So we need to be aware of emotions. Emotions of shame, blame and fear, amongst others, saturate illness and add to the suffering that patients um, go through. If we do not validate, acknowledge, examine these emotions and the suffering that they cause, this may lead to the chasm between the doctor and patient and limit effective care. 